will be provide passive range of motion, or some of you have may recognize it as R-O-M, range of motion. And it's to the shoulder, to the arm, the shoulder, knee, and ankle. So we're actually doing range of motion on the shoulder, but you're going to be doing it with the arm, the knee, and the ankle or the foot. So we're going to start. I'm going to stand back here so you can see me a little better. So we're going to do the same common practices we have with all of the tasks. We're going to knock on the client's door. Hi, Mr. Client. Hi. How are you today? Can you see me over here? Hi, it's Hope. I'm going to be your home care aide today, and I see we need to do some range of motion. Are you ready? We're going to do your shoulder. We're going to do your knee and we're going to do your ankle. Will that be okay with you? Are you sure? Great. So what did we do? We practiced our common practice rule. We're going to make sure we've knocked on the door, we've identified ourselves to the client, we've explained to the client what we're going to do to them, asking them if it's okay with them so we're getting their permission. Now we're going to say, Mr. Client, I'll be right back. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll be back in a few minutes. At that point, you can say, I'm going to go ahead and close your blinds for privacy. You leave his room, go wash your hands. You're going to come back and you're going to put your gloves on. Do you have to wear gloves for this exercise? I tell the students, yes. Why? You're doing arms and range of motion on knee and ankle. And once again, sometimes clients may not have something on, they may not have showered yet, they may, many may have skin condition. So it's better to put your gloves on than to not glove up for an exercise that you need. So now we've washed our hands, we've put our gloves on, and now we're going to ask the client, Mr. Client, are you decent under here? Awesome. I'm just going to bring it down to about here. And the reason being is we're only doing his shoulder at this point, so we don't need to, you know, get the rest of his body cold. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the arm. So I'll show you from this side, but this isn't the, what, the side you'll do it. You'll take the arm like this. You're going to support the wrist and the elbow. Okay, the wrist and the elbow. You follow it? So we're going to take the wrist and the elbow, and we're going to go one. How are you feeling? Is that hurting you? Are you comfortable? Great. Two. And you'll do this three times. How are you feeling? Any pain? Do you see we're provo promoting the client's comfort? Common practices. Now you're going to come out and extend the arm. So you're going to go one, down to the bed. So you're going to make sure that the arm is down. When you hold it and pull it out, make sure it's even with the shoulder and it has to come all the way back down to the bed. Two, do you see what I'm doing? Three. How are you feeling? Any pain or pressure? Now you're going to do the knee and the ankle. So you have two choices. You can continue with your sheet down at the bottom of your bed or you can go down to the bottom of the bed and do it this way. That way you're still giving him courtesy of keeping him covered. Now we're going to do the knee. So you're going to hold underneath the knee and right here on the leg and you're going to go one. How does that feel? Any pressure? Two. Holding the ankle now. Three. Does that feel okay? Great. Do you understand what we're doing? We're doing range of motion. Maybe this particular client needs to exercise because they had surgery or they have bad blood flow through their body. For whatever reason, it's on our tasks to do. 
Now we're going to do the ankle. So you're going to hold the ankle. I'm going to take this sock so you can see off my client. You're going to hold here and you're going to go one, two, three. You're not doing this. It's not, you can't do that. You're, you're, you're going to hurt the client. So you're going to take your hand and you're just going to go one and nicely put two. So the toes are pointing upward. Three. And then you're done. Now you're going to go side to side. One. Two. One. Two. Do you understand what we're doing? Three. Four. So you're rotating it, but not like this. So I don't want you doing this. One, two, three, four. You're rotating. One, two. Are you feeling okay? Three. Now I'm using a mannequin. Our feet isn't going to go all the way around. Do you understand? So you want to use safety precautions and constantly ask your client, are you doing okay? Because this is part of our what? Our common practice. Now you're finished and complete with this task. Make sure if you take the client's socks off that you put the client's sock back on. How are you feeling, Mr. Client? Well, great. I'm glad I was able to assist you with that. And is there anything I can get you before I leave? Sure, no problem. He wants a glass of water and his remote control. So you're going to take your gloves off, throw them away. Your hands are still clean because you had gloves on. You're going to give him his water at his bedside table and his remote. Thank you so much for letting me come into your home and you have a great day. This task is now complete.